Hello. So, today I'm going to tell you a story about my first ever stage performance. When I was about four or five, I guess, my daycare center staged a festive play where all the girls were dressed up in big poofy skirts and were supposed to represent snowflakes. During certain parts of the show, we would all huddle together in a specific part of the stage to represent a snow pile. And then, some person that I didn't know, maybe it was someone's parent or someone who worked at the daycare center, I'm not sure, but he was quite large and dressed in a Santa suit, and he would flop down onto us at which point we were supposed to run in various directions and that would imitate snow going every which way when Santa flopped down into the snow pile. And just think of how safe that was and how likely it was that Santa would accidentally sit on one of the children. More specifically, me. During one of those flop down scenes, I wasn't fast enough and Santa sat down on my skirt. Thankfully, not on any actual part of my body, but he pinned me down to the floor by the skirt and I was desperately tugging on my skirt trying to get away, but he was literally five times my size. I was experiencing a number of emotions in that moment. For one, I was aware of the fact that this was all happening in front of an audience. Not a very large audience. It was the parents, aunties, uncles, siblings of all the kids that were in the show but, you know, for a daycare center performance, it was a respectable-sized audience. And all these people were watching as I was pathetically trying to get away from under Santa's butt. Secondly, I felt like I was ruining the show because I was supposed to be this beautiful light snowflake that went up into the sky when Santa flopped down into the snow pile, but instead I was stuck under Santa's buns. And on top of that, there was just this general sense of dread of being immobilized of course, Santa wasn't any kind of threat to me, but just this feeling of being restrained against your will by a complete stranger, especially when you're a child and that stranger is an adult who is considerably larger than you are, it really just wasn't a very pleasant feeling. And I don't think Santa even noticed that I was stuck under him, he wasn't sitting on any part of my body, it was just my skirt, so he couldn't feel it with his butt, plus he was quite large and I was tiny. He probably didn't even know that I was struggling somewhere behind him. So he just kept going and being entertaining while I was experiencing five different levels of dread underneath him. And eventually he got up and I was able to run away. I don't remember anything before or after that moment. I have really bad memory as it is, and this was obviously a very long time ago, and I don't remember anything else from that play, or from that day, or from that year. I think the only reason that I remember this is just that it was a pretty traumatic experience that's tied to all these strong emotions. And one would think that this would make me scared of being on stage, but it didn't. 
I performed as an actor and a singer throughout middle school, high school, college. I actually quite enjoy being on stage. I don't even really experience stage fright all that much. I guess I could say something motivational here, like, if you're really meant to be doing something, there's nothing that can stop you, but that's bullshit. No matter how hard you're meant to be doing something, there's always something that can stop you. But I guess it's good to know that having your skirt pinned down to the floor by a stranger in a Santa suit in front of a room full of people at the age of four is not one of those things. Well, I tried. I guess I don't have the best track record with snowflakes. Thank you for watching.